Geo Dashboard. The WSO2 Complex Event Processor is a high-performing and a massively scalable open-source event processing server. It identifies the most meaningful events within the event cloud, analyzes their impacts, and acts on them in real time. The WSO2 CEP Geo Dashboard processes spatial data coming from an external source of events and analyzes and manipulates that data to produce meaningful information to end users. Spatial data processed by the CEP contains details such as latitude, longitude, and speed. Queries used for analyzing the data are easy to write because of the SQL-like nature. You can set a specific value for the speed limit and an alert will be triggered when any vehicle violates the limit. As shown in the query, the user-specified speed limit is used to filter out the state of the vehicle as alerted or normal. Proximity alerts are triggered when two or more vehicles become close in proximity by the specified predefined value. You can define a proximity zone by drawing a circular area centering an object and assigning a time constraint for how long the second object should be in close proximity in order to trigger an alert. In the query, the geoproximity function sets the proximity as true when the proximity condition given by the user is satisfied. Based on the value of the proximity, the state of the object is changed to normal or warning. Stationary alerts are triggered if a device stays within a predefined buffer zone for a predefined period of time. The within stationary function in the query checks whether the current event is located within the defined zone. If that is true, it then calculates the time the spatial object has been stationed in the defined stationary zone, and if both these user-defined values are satisfied, the state is changed to alerted.
The geofencing function is used to trigger alerts when a device enters or exits a defined geometry boundary. The isWithin function checks whether the object is within the geofence specified and changes the state to alerted if it's within the geofence. When you search for a particular object, its travel path will be drawn on the map. You can also see the speed history graph of the selected object in the right hand side pane. Apart from these scenarios, you can also build on existing toolboxes available in WSO2 CEP to create your own scenarios.